Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Tag Me Tuesday, but first let's have our shout out to Liberty Lost, Judy, Her Paper Element, Mags, Jazz Girls, Debbie, Sweet Drops 45, and Julie. I appreciate each and every one of you. I've got some paper here that is shining a little bit too much for my liking. I've got some paper here. This paper right here <clears throat> is out of the Park Lane Everyday Essentials book. And the one down below is from the book The Paper Studio Distressed Floral. Now that last one that I just showed you, I'm going to put this on the floor. All right. This one right here is a cardstock. And this one right here is a lightweight, like a copy paper. So what I'm going to do is today in our project for hashtag Kathy's, I know it's not, hashtag Tag Me Tuesday, we're going to use a windowed CD envelope. And we're going to make a window tag using this CD envelope. So the first thing I would like to do is I'm going to bring in some of my paint. This is the floral art, no, the folk art. Oh my goodness, I can't seem to get it together. Folk Art Metallic Antique Gold. That's what this is. Oh, can you see that very well? Maybe there you can. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a little bit of this paint right here on my glass mat. I am going to bring in my brush that is the one that's slanted, my slant brush. I've got to wipe it off just a little bit. There we are. Now I'm going to take my paint and I'm just going to paint the front part of my envelope just like this. And as I paint, I'm going to tell you what hashtag Tag Me Tuesday is all about. It's a Facebook group that I have. The link is down below. I welcome you all to join. The thing is, is that you will have to accept the rules to be able to join. The rules are very simple. It's no selling and be kind to everyone. If you do not answer the group rules, I cannot accept you into the group. The other question was, what's the secret word? And you don't have to know that. It happens to be hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness, but you don't have to know that. You do have to accept the rules about being kind and no selling before I can accept you into the group. So I understand that you kind of have to look a little bit <clears throat> to see where it asks you those questions. And so do take the time to look to see where you answer those questions so that you can join the group. And in the group, what do you get to do? Well, you get to post your picture of your version of the projects that we work on on Tuesdays. Every Tuesday I have a different project and I show you mine and I show you close up pictures of them and I show you when they're open or closed and I show you more than you get to really see on the YouTube channel and you can really zoom in and look at how it was made or something that you question whether, you know, something about how it was made. You can really zoom in and study it, shall I say. And then everyone that's member of the group is welcome to post their version of the two's hashtag Kathy's. Oh my goodness, I'm getting so confused. The hashtag Tag Me Tuesday project. You can post your version because your personality comes out in your crafting. And so even though we're doing the exact same project, they're all going to come out so different. And I think it's so much fun to see everybody's version of the same exact project. So pop on over there after the video is finished and I welcome you to join the group. All right, so I'm just taking a wet wipe and I'm just wiping off where the paint got onto the, the window. That's all I'm doing. I just wiped it off. So now we look like this. So very pretty. I have a piece of that paper, the lightweight paper out of that smaller paper pack. And I am actually turning it on this side. 
and I'm just going to trim mark it first and then I'm going to trim out right here I'm just going to trim this piece out I want this piece to go inside of the envelope so I have a little bit of background so I'm just going to trim it out and I'm sure that this is going to be too big to fit in here there's no doubt in my mind <clears throat> that this is going to be too big Oh, my stars in heaven. Well, it's not that big, but a little bit too big. So I'm just going to trim just a tiny bit off. Just like that. And I bet it will fit now because that was just so very close. And we'll get that inserted. Oh, that looks nice in there, doesn't it? Okay, so I am going to... <clears throat> just add just a tiny bit of glue on the bottom part here and maybe just a little on the side and then I will glue it in from the top after I get it in there that way I can hold on to this as I open up my envelope and I get this to be placed in here get this envelope held up there we go already grabbed a hold there we go it's going in now come on now okay perfect now I really to truthfully tell you I don't need to glue this down because I'm going to glue the flap down so we're going to close it up this isn't going to be our pocket this is just going to be our decoration on the front so we can glue this pocket and we need to glue that pocket down there now now I have a little bit of glue, uh, paint that I pushed up over here on the edge and let me grab uh, something real quick all right so what I have grabbed is I've grabbed these doilies and I was looking to see what size they are and of course they place the price on the size side they're four inch doilies that's what they are and I'm going to actually grab two I think this might be two nope that's just one I'm going to grab two I'm going to get my brush back out of my water there and I'm going to bring in my paint again here it is starting to dry and I'm going to just lightly brush my doily with some gold paint with exact same paint that we used to paint the outside of the envelope I'm just lightly brushing it with some gold paint I'm not totally painting it just just hitting it with a little bit like that just get that on there like that this one's a little darker that's okay However you end up painting it will be absolutely perfect. Okay, so I'm going to use up all this paint. I don't want it to go to waste. So I'm going to make sure I get it all up over there. And I'm just going to... Okay, back in the water. And I'm sure I did put water in there. Yeah, I did. So that's what it looks like. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, I'm just wiping this up so it's nicer to look at and it won't get everywhere. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to take this, this just takes seconds to dry. I'm going to tear out the center of this doily, just like this. And if you want to save what you've torn out, you can. I tend not to save that. I, that's just something that I can't save absolutely every scrap. And I just don't save that inside. So I've got that torn out. Now, I'm not sure. I think I need another one. But let's just see. I'm tearing these in sections because I'm going to use this to go around. And the reason why you have to tear it in sections is 
because you see this circle is bigger than the circle of the doily. So see, that wouldn't look right if we just tried to place it on there. It wouldn't be big enough. So yes, I do need two doilies. And, but I'm not going to use all of this one right here. Okay, so I'm going to have to trim this like that. All right, so like this. So now it's like that. Isn't that sweet? That's so sweet. So let's go ahead and let's get this glued onto here. Now this is really the only tricky part about this whole process. And I just use the bottom of my Tombow glue with the sponge and I just add a little bit of glue and I just do a section at a time and I kind of like to try to keep my doily onto my envelope and not have it outside the envelope but you know it's okay if you go outside it's whatever you like you do it the way you like maybe you like to have it outside the envelope that's our personality coming out and you just do what you think is pretty and what pleases you. So I'm just going to take the time and you can see what I'm doing here. I'm taking, takes a little bit of time and I'm going to go all the way around attaching my pieces of doily around the circle of my CD envelope. All right, I have mine all around the edge. It's still a little tacky, but we'll see if we can't work through that. Now I have fussy cut a piece uh, of ephemera. It's actually a picture of a woodpecker. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm going to place it right here onto my um, CD envelope with the window facing up. And I, I got this image from the bird, a bird picture from the, what are they called? Clip art books that I've been talking about. And that's where I got this image from. And I'm just going to put it right here. I think that's going to be absolutely beautiful on there. Get this on here. Oh my goodness. I love that. I think that's gorgeous. And I have a few labels. Now I, I picked a few before I started. I'm not sure which one. I guess it's this one. I thought I had one more, but obviously either it went away or I'm dreaming. So I'm going to just ink this up very quickly. I think this is a Tracy Fox label. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think so. I think I want it maybe right up here. All right, so we've got our label, so our front is decorated. Now, on that paper that I showed you that came out of the larger paper book, that's the cardstock, I cut myself out a piece that will fit onto the back of here perfectly. Now, before I do that, I need to decide which way do I want it to be up. And I think I like it this way. And the reason why is because I want to go ahead and mark the center of this. And I'm going to bring in my one inch circle round punch. And I'm just going to barely nip out a little piece right there from the top. And ink this in nicely. So I'm just inking quickly around the edge just so we can get this applied. And this is what's going to make a pocket on the back. Now make sure you know which is right side up and then turn it over. That's right side up. So I'm going to be placing my piece right here. But before I do, I'm going to ink or, yeah, ink this up just a little bit more right there because that's where you're going to see it and see that looks a little better. So do not put your ink at the top where the notch is out. Place your, not your ink, your glue. Place your glue on the other three sides of your card. Just like that. That's not very much glue right there. I think I need a little bit more glue. I think it would popped through and not held well. There we go. And 
just lay that right on top just like that and just press it down now I have already made a card my tag <clears throat> by folding that same piece of paper in half and gluing it so it's glued together it's firmer much firmer but it's it's the same paper as what's inside and that's going to be our tag so this will fit see it's not glued down yet but when it glues down <laughs> it will fit right inside here now I need to looks like I need to trim this just a little bit so I'm going to do that I'm going to trim this just a little bit there that's a little better and I'm going to cut well, there went my my dabber I'm going to trim this off I'm just looking here uh, I'm giving a little bit of space for that glue to you know spread and then I'm going to just cut it right here I'm going to bring in my guillotine and I'm going to just trim it right there like that I'm also going <clears throat> to bring in my corner rounder no that's not my corner rounder my corner rounder and I'm going to round my corners like that I need to ink around the edge but before I do all that I would like to go ahead and I have done one more piece of gluing the two together and I'm going to make a tab out of this and here's my tab punch and hopefully I've yeah so I can get one here and yes I know I could do it two at once but I just don't do it that way I do it this way I do it and I'm going to have to find my ink dauber all right I found that ink dauber I went ahead and I attached my tab on top I inked around and this is what's going inside of your pocket right here it's still not glued down yet but that's what is going inside for you to journal on now here is one that I have sewn so I didn't put as much of the gold paint on the doily because there was so much white here I thought that would be nice and you can see I've sewed around I have made my tag and you can journal on that nicely now there's one more I made a Christmas one that looks like this I think these are really fun I think now I sewed around this tag I didn't sew around this tag and then I didn't sew anything on this one so you can see the difference they're all really really cute there's not one that isn't cute so any way that you make yours with sewing or without sewing it will be absolutely adorable I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please give me a thumbs up I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video I'll see you there guys bye now